to see the sunshine today in West Michigan. And now we await some clouds that are going to be on the way. In fact, I think the sun is going to be on a bit of a limited supply here for the rest of the week. So I hope you're able to soak it up. Hello, Marshall. This is a look downtown live right now. Looking to the east, thanks to our partners at Horizon Broadband. And also the look here in South Beach. Looking out from South Haven, we say hello to the big lake here. This is looking off to the northwest. You can still see some of that snow out there, of course, and a little bit more open water than we were looking at yesterday. You know, you just travel right up Blue Star Highway just a little bit from South Haven. You might catch some pretty interesting snow sculptures. Check this out. Derek Gruber took these shots in Casco Township here. That is Phil who created that snow sculpture right there. And I would say that is pretty impressive. And there's more where that came from as well. Thanks, Derek, for sharing. Don't forget, we'd love to see your pics. Just send them to us. You can share them with us by clicking on that Chime In tab that you find on our website you can also find it on our free news app. That snow sculpture might be well, a little bit in jeopardy here as we work our way toward the latter part of the week, because I think we'll see a little bit warmer air. In fact, our temperatures are going to be warming up overnight. And we'll be in the low to mid 30s by the time we hit tomorrow morning daybreak. This is our hour by hour. Those clouds starting to arrive late tonight by midnight. Certainly they'll be moving in and our skies will be overcast tomorrow. Like I said, no need for the shades. Could see a little light rain snow mix, especially in the afternoon tomorrow and then some light snow tomorrow night into Thursday morning. Again, this is going to be on the lighter side, maybe an inch two at most. And then as we go through Thursday, we'll see that snow move out. And then Friday is when we're awaiting the next system here. This is going to be a clipper that's going to come in and pack a bit of a punch here. Uh, we could see some wet, heavy snow coming down on Friday with this, and it could be a little bit messy with that mix coming in by Friday evening. It could make for a slushy evening commute. So our weather headlines, what's on the way? That light snow will continue through Thursday, becoming wet and heavy on Friday with several inches of accumulation possible by the end of the week. We're keeping an eye on that still uh, to be determined. This is Tuesday, but it's looking that way with an Arctic blast to follow for the weekend. How about a live look in downtown Kalamazoo right now? Well, it's pretty quiet right now. Still a lot of snow on the rooftops. This is our view from our Peregrine Tower Camp looking right downtown where it's 30 degrees right now on the button there. 27 in Battle Creek, 30 in Holland. Temperatures in most locations, Muskegon accepted, staying a little bit below freezing for today. Our wind chills right now are in the teens to low 20s. Pretty quiet on live Doppler radar. Nothing tracking here, so let's go right onto the forecast. Our skies will be increasingly cloudy tonight. Uh, overnight will be mainly cloudy. Look at those. those temps will be in the upper 20s to around 30. And then tomorrow, mainly cloudy with a little light rain snow as we get into the day. I don't think it's going to be too problematic for the commute. 38 for the high, our first time above freezing in about a week. Your Sealy Auto Group 7-day, that snow gets heavy on Friday with some lake effect snow possible Saturday as it's going to be chilly for Saturday and also for Sunday. So, you know, it's really sort of a holding pattern, pretty quiet weather over the next couple of days. And we're just going to continue to look ahead to Friday to try to get more clarity on how heavy that snow may be. Quiet weather, not today, as a huge thing of ice fell off my gutter, and I thought it was a World War II air raid. I thought I heard that all the way in Austin. You might have. It, it was loud. The, and those ice icicles can be dangerous. Yeah, yeah. They, can. they get sharp and they get very, very large this time of year. All right, guys.